Alrighty, so as promised, here is my track on site update. So as many of you know, um, track is started to be delivered and I don't mean the typical boring pieces of break run. I mean, we're starting to see some curved parts arrive. Now I'm going to describe them a little bit. They're not too exciting yet, but we're getting to the point of really exciting parts. Um, so here we have the turn of the station. How do I know it's the turn of the station? Well, it's got part number one and it matches my blueprints. Um, so in my next video updates, I'm going to start tracking which parts of the coaster have arrived using the blueprints and that might be part of the reveal. I haven't fully decided yet, but as of right now, I'm kind of committing to revealing the blueprints as the track pieces arrive. Um, we're down to 20 days before announcement, so it should add up to the point of by the time we get to the announcement, we're only revealing a few and then, you know, the day of the announcement or the night before, we're going to release the blueprints that we have from God, we've had them forever. I mean, we've been collecting them. I'll release them all and show you guys what we've been looking at and why we've been thinking the way we've been thinking. But anyways, let's get back to this. I'm off topic again. <laughs> Me getting off topic? Uh, yeah, it happens quite a bit. All right, so right there in the back there, that's the um, top of the uh, lift hill, the turn towards the tunnel. Um, you can tell by the thickness of the spine and it also has the catwalk attachments to it and it's much thicker than the turn of the station pieces. Also, if you notice on the turn of the station pieces, they are meant to connect directly to a footer. They don't have the typical B&M connection piece that would connect to a support beam, which would then connect to um, the footer itself. It's like the tunnel pieces. The tunnel pieces have that same piece to it where it just connects directly to a footer. Um, so yeah, that's how you know it's the turn of the station part and nothing out of the ordinary on these track pieces. It just says track element, um, DMG, TE005, and then it goes same thing, 006, counts the track pieces on the stickers there. Um, I do wanna comment on how much stuff is arriving. So um, this is a good sign because, and I'm gonna tell you why, um, it's because A, they're running out of room. They are literally almost at capacity back here. In fact, as I'm making this video, it's funny enough, literally getting messages that more shipments are arriving right now. So the time that I'm making this video is 624 PM um, and uh, more track pieces or more shipping shipping containers are arriving. And I want to stress out. So the shipping containers, anytime you see a shipping container arriving, it's coming from Switzerland. So it's coming overseas from Switzerland and being delivered by someone else. Anything on a flatbed truck is coming from the BNM factory or sorry, the Clearmount steel factory, not the BNM factory. Um, um, so it's and yesterday for the first time ever, we saw two truck drivers from Clearmount arrive. So we thought it was just going to be one truck driver because uh, we had the opportunity to have a quick conversation with one of them. And uh, we were told there were going to be 53 trips from him alone. Now, what's interesting is there's another truck driver. So um, that definitely changes things. Um, again, they didn't spoil any information. They just told us the amount of trips. So there was no inside information leaked from the truck drivers, nor would they do that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because things are arriving quickly. I mean, shipping containers, I think there's three or four shipping containers now as of right now in that storage area that haven't even been unloaded yet. And look, there's no room to put them. We know that a equipment has started to arrive too. As you see, there's a scissor lift there that's been kind of new. And you got the track pieces and they're arriving in order as well from brake run, transfer shed, transfer track, station, turn out of the station, and next is the pre-lift and part number one for the lift. Um, essentially, we're getting really close to vertical construction. I originally guessed it before the end of July, and I'm going to hold to that. Even though we're cutting it close, I'm going to hold to my original guess that we'll see vertical construction before the end of July. What do you guys think? Are you excited for this project? What do you think DMG stands for? Is it nothing? Is it everything? And how tall do you think this coaster is going to be? I mean, that seems to be the biggest question. So I want to hear from you down below. How tall is Ziz going to be? I don't know if the name's going to be Ziz. I'm just saying that. Anyways, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more. I'll be at the park tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.